I'm Ashley Nicole, and this is Shea Rochelle, my co-host. Today we're going to have a local band on called Cowboys and Cardigans. This is Cowboys and Cardigans. Welcome, guys. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Um, from the, what is this, the right-hand side, we have Jamie, we have Jordan, <laughs> we have Taylor, and we have Devin. How are you guys doing today? Fine. Really well. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, too. Good. Thank you. Okay. So you guys are going to play some music for us later on in the show. I'm very excited. I heard you guys doing the uh, sound check. It sounded amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't think you need to <laughs> do that with your mic. <laughs> this is live, guys. <laughs> um, so we got some questions for you. Shay, you want to start? Yeah. Okay. Be as honest as possible. Okay. I just want to say congrats, first of all, for making the top 25 on the CBC Searchlight competition. Thank you. And Thank you, you can uh, vote up until Sunday, April 13th, for that. How are you guys feeling about that? Uh, I think we're feeling actually quite com confident with it, uh, given the fact that when we applied, it was right before we had our final mixes of our newest album, but right. we, uh, we're happy with the response we're getting from yeah. some older content. Yeah, for sure. Keep voting, guys. Absolutely. So who and what inspired you to get into music? When I was 14, I started playing guitar, and it was really all about Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Spongebob Ballads, and Aerosmith, and all of that stuff, Pink Floyd, Radiohead. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Uh, mine specifically was uh, one of my closest friends giving up on his Christmas present, which was a set of drums. Oh, really? Right. <laughs> and uh, I ended up borrowing them for quite some time. And... Uh, I've been playing ever since. It's quite some time, wow. indefinitely. Uh, well, it will be for the peak in your future, anyway. Yeah. Uh, mine would probably be like family, um, brothers, my dad. Everyone has always been playing guitars, mm -hmm. piano, stuff like that. So I've always been around it. Okay. Just kind of picked it up. Okay. I uh, I turned on the TV one day to Kurt Cobain mm. in the uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit music video. Yeah. And decided to uh, to pick up a guitar and grow my hair out. And, really, and, uh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, and, I think I think that Kurt rare. Cobain inspired a lot of people. You know, really I grew did, up yeah. listening to Nirvana, and um, and yeah, that's really funny because a lot of bands that I have talked to, it's a lot of them are inspired by Nirvana or a lot of musicians themselves. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, people say you guys sound a lot like the White Stripes. And of course, you remind me a lot of him, Jack White. <laughs> I've never heard that feel? before. You yeah, know. no. <laughs> I'm just All gonna say this: <laughs> anytime we've ever been compared to somebody, it's always one of my favorite bands. Right. So, That's and amazing. they're fantastic bands. So, mm -hmm. I take that as a very high compliment. With regards to the personal, you look like whoever. They're all good-looking guys. I was <laughs> say, yeah. <laughs> And uh, where and when did you guys record your first album as a group? Uh, that was uh, Cockatoo. Cockatoo? Right now uh, at okay. SLR Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, engineered and produced by uh, Martin Bach. Bach? Is that how you pronounce mm -hmm. it? And, uh, <clears throat> and he did such a fantastic job with it. We're insanely happy with how it came out and we're really excited to finally have it in people's hands. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, when we were talking about where to go, um, none of us have ever heard anything bad come out of that studio so mm -hmm. it was a no-brainer he's a uh, an awesome guy okay where is he out of he's, he's out of windsor windsor yeah. Yeah, he's, he's central in windsor um he runs it out of uh, the basement of his beautiful home and oh. he's got world-class gear um i've worked with him for about seven years now on various projects that's awesome and uh he is second to none he's just wonderful to work with that's great that's great so how was it recording cockatoo did you guys have a fun time we had a blast, yeah. I have to say. Uh, I've recorded a bunch in the past, and I know for these guys, this has been like the first real awesome experience. We did a full album. Uh, the sessions were extremely efficient. Mm -hmm. We were very prepared. We did a lot of pre-production um, <clears throat> and put the majority of the money, aside from the actual recording project, into our gear. Yeah. So we don't sound like a computer program. We actually sound like the stuff that we have to play right. with. That's awesome. Yeah, it's all very independently uh, propelled. That's great. That's awesome. 
I mean, we were talking before about bands uh, that inspire you, and who, I guess, were you listening to when you were growing up? Most inspirational people. I guess I'll start at this uh -huh. end this time. Um, <laughs> for me, uh, like I said before, it was uh, Nirvana, yeah. uh, Green Day. Uh, I have a, a soft spot for that band, and people make fun of me for it now, but that's fine. Um, yeah, th those were the two ones, the Blink-182, 741s, all of those guys. It was, it was the power pop of the 90s is, uh, is what drove yeah. me along. Um, I grew up pretty much any uh, 90s alternative, um, but it was it was different because, like, at home it was... My parents with like Aerosmith, Chicago, uh -huh. Bon Jovi, older yep, stuff like yep. that. And then I went through that like Metallica phase, that usual, you know. Yep. And then, yeah, so mainly alternative, 90s right. alternative. Mm. I think that's pretty consistent along the yeah. uh, along this group yeah, here. We, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it, no, I get it. Yeah, for sure. If I was a part of your band, it would be like that Bush. too. Cause yeah, Bush. Yeah. Essentially, like, we sound like a West Coast band. Yeah, yeah. like West that's Coast. That's what the album yeah, sounds yeah. like. If you like in uh, stuff in the 90s with heavy guitars, big drums, and a quirky, evil sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And ukulele. And ukulele. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, we just sound like a good time. Mm -hmm. It really we came do. out naturally. It wasn't forced. Everybody just did their thing, and it just works out that way that when we're in the same room, either if we're playing like some covers at a jam night or if we're playing our own tunes, it's high energy stuff. Like That's Rage good. Against the Machine, I think we should mention too. Mm. Uh, that was a huge inspiration for me, mm -hmm, that band, right. especially. So. I was actually just listening to Rage Against the Machine today. I forgot about them for a little bit mm -hmm. until they popped on, and yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, Rage Against the Machine. I know. I was all yeah. excited. Um, so your album release is on the 25th. Um, it's open to the public, and mm -hmm. you can purchase tickets. Uh, so where can people purchase tickets? Uh, you can get tickets from us, the band. You can get uh, tickets from State of Us, the opening band. You can get tickets from Chelsea Danfield, the opener um, for the night, the acoustic opener. Uh, you can get tickets at Dr. Disc on Record Store Day. Mm -hmm. We're going to yeah. put five copies of Cockatoo in the store that day ahead of schedule, and they each will have a free show ticket in them. Okay, very nice. Now, where is your album release party? Our album release party is at Venue Music Hall, mm -hmm. downtown Windsor, uh, right above Chinoso, South Detroit, and Oishi. And uh, it's a wonderful venue for the show that we're putting on. Uh, we love the guys that run that place. We're mm -hmm. big supporters of theirs, and they've been behind us 100%, so we're nice. very excited to uh, have, have this event sushi. there. They yeah. have amazing sushi there. Yes, they do. I love it. Yeah, I know, me too. I was going to say, uh, go back to a personal question, how did you guys meet? Uh, Tuesday Night Music Club uh, at the Manchester, but originally it was at a, a bar in the West End uh, called uh, Twig and Berries. Nice. Is where it started, and uh, just started jamming yeah. on a on a Tuesday night, and kind of haven't looked back since. Yeah. Yeah. There was um, <clears throat> there was two projects that were going on, um, kind of separately uh, in the past before Cowboys and Cardigans was a thing. Um, and there was a, a studio album produced uh, that Jamie worked on that we weren't a part of, and then we were working on another project, um, and the stars kind of aligned perfectly with band members leaving and bands uh, breaking up and or whatever the case may right. have been. Um, and it was a perfect, uh, kind of a perfect storm situation where we all looked at each other and went, well, we all want to play in a band. Yeah. And we got some cool songs, and uh, we all got together, and here we are. Awesome, awesome. That's great. Um, now... When you guys are writing lyrics and music and stuff like that, do you have a specific muse? A <laughs> I see that smile, Jamie. Come on. <laughs> Driving down the road, perhaps? I, I wrote the words on the album, and uh, I'd like to first talk about the muse for... Uh, that's what this means. Uh, <laughs> uh, the mu <laughs> that I didn't know what was going on. Uh, the music... The music comes about in a brilliant spurts of whatever. And if you have an iPhone around, it's good. Capture it. That's how it happens. Uh -huh. It's not forced. You can't sit down and write something good. It just happens, uh -huh. usually. And when it does, it's a wonderful feeling. So I, I showed these, these guys some stupid demo that I did. And I was like, you're not going to like this song. But I think this idea is catchy. And they're like, We're, it's the first song on the album now. So, you know, like, when you show an idea to somebody, 
a band and everybody writes their parts, they're all seeing it through their own lenses. With regards to lyrics, I feel if I'm singing, I have to write it. And a lot of the time for me, um, inspiration for the words comes from traveling, um, from hanging out with friends and having a good time and trying different things like Netflix and um, you know, watching stuff and uh, just getting to know people and having a good time. Very adventurous and trying things. Yes. Netflix. Now, I heard that, the, uh, of course, the Cockatoo album is set to be released on the 25th of this month. Now, do any of you actually own a cockatoo? Funny story about that. <laughs> oh, There's a man that lives in Walkerville named Ken Cockatoo, okay. and he actually has the cockatoo that is on the front cover. Really? If you've seen the cartoon graphic that was designed by yeah. uh, Devin's fiance, Elena. Very nice. Uh, based on the real thing. Uh, the cockatoo, there's like a mystique about it, and I befriended Ken Cockatoo many years ago, and we got together uh, as a band, you know, we're jamming and we're writing the songs, and you want to, when you, when you have an album, you want to bring it together with a theme or something to tie everything together, and Cockatoo is what it is. Cockatoo is in all of us, really, and it's all about like, unlocking the inner cockatoo that's within, within you, and that's what we want to help people do with this album, is just have a good time, and, uh, you know. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so what is that? <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> What exactly does cowboys and cardigans mean? Like, how did you guys come up with it? Is there, it as there, there's funny no, as the cockatoo? Yeah, th there's there's no real answer to that. No. Um, well, there is. well there, is, there is and there isn't at the same time. Um, that's one of those things. You'll never s see us wear a cowboy hat. You'll never see us in a cardigan. Um, some Well, sometimes when he's walking down the street, he might be wearing a cardigan. Yeah. He's a fan of them. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of that ubiquitous thing that we enjoy dangling above people's heads. Um, it's a euphemism for being an astronaut. That's essentially what it is. Cowboys and cardigans, right? Like, really, really, really smart dudes that do super, super wild things. And I'm, I'm like, so fascinated by astronauts. Mm -hmm. ah. That's honestly where the name comes from. Uh, we were forced into the name by commercial radio because the name of the band initially was very different. <laughs> and the guy said, well, we like your songs, but we can't play you if you're called that. So we went with... Cowboys and Cowboys. Can you tell us what it was? Was it appropriate for uh, <laughs> We'll tell you on the break and then you can decide. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I believe is our bleep in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> we need the seven seconds. <laughs> We're actually going to have a short break in about two seconds. Um, you guys are going to come back, play a couple songs for us. Um, do you uh, want to tell us what your Twitter name is, Instagram, and Facebook page? Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash cowboys and cardigans. Our Twitter handle is cowboys and cardigans without any vowels. Mm -hmm. um, what? We're on Instagram. Cru yeah, so it's like. Cardigans. Cardigans. Uh, and cardigans. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Like cowboys and cardigans minus yeah. the vowels. Yes, yeah. okay. because Twitter only allowed us to have like 14 letters or something uh, for wow. the handle. Damn Twitter. Um, and then on Instagram, <laughs> um, I think it shows up actually under my name when you search it because I connected it through. No, my I name. just added that you on there. And yeah, you can find it as Cowboys yeah. and Cardigans mm -hmm. as well. Um, but yeah, that's where you can find us. We'll have a website soon. And you guys, you guys have a YouTube channel too, don't you? Yes. Yes. YouTube.com slash Cowboys and Cardigans. Right on. We like okay. consistency. So we'll be right back in a couple minutes with some music.
Oh, welcome back. What camera are we on right here? I'm Ashley Nicole, um, and behind me is Cowboys in Cardigans. Who are not ready yet? Uh, they're going to play two songs in a second. Um, here, Brett. First is going to be uh, Static, and then they're going to play Sloppy Drunk. Sloppy Drunk. Maybe. And their original name, can we say it? Yeah, no, it wasn't really the name. Oh, it wasn't it's the name of this band? Of well, we just heard a funny story about awkward sex, so it's yeah. always yeah, good yeah. times. Fun experience, yeah. apparently, yeah. <laughs> always fun times. We can say sex, can't we? It's, it's an, yeah. We teach sex ed in, like, grade one. It's in good context. It's <laughs> all good. Okay. Well, they do. Yeah, they call it safe sex. <laughs> I don't know what it's Well, no, it's... Okay. In grade one. <laughs> so, um, the first song they're going to play is Static, and the second one is called... Sloppy drunk. Sloppy drunk. Which people will be getting this weekend, probably. So take it away, guys.
Yeah, just to the next one. Do you want to say something? Is there a pause? No, it was absolutely fantastic. I have to switch. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go nuts. <laughs> Pardon? Album release party. Yeah, their album release party is on uh, April 25th, as we've already stated for the album Cockatoo, which will be coming out on the 25th. Uh, you can get tickets. Ten bucks. Ten bucks a ticket. Ten bucks. Um, if you know our intern, Mr. Brett Hedge, is here, he also will have tickets for sale, apparently. What do I hear? Tragically hip. He's playing music for you in the background. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're very sanitary Hello. here Hello. at the <laughs> Windsor Business <laughs> Accelerator. <laughs> These are my shoes. Get the, my shoes off. They're good for running. And when my back's out. We're on live camera right now. Why is your back out? Want to tell everybody why your back's out? No. Okay. <laughs> Let's not tell anybody why my back's out. Uh, pardon? I'm representing with my cowboy boots. And her cardigan. And my cardigan. And the blue. <laughs> Are you guys ready? With yeah. the ukulele. Yay, yeah. I love the ukulele. Okay. Okay, here's cowboys and cardigans. Sloppy drunk. Thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for having us. Um, I hope to have you guys again. 
after your album release party. That would be great. Yeah. Um, so, thank you all for tuning in. We will be back next week with a new guest. Um, at the same time, probably, maybe a different day. Who knows? But we'll be back. So, we thank for you sure. for watching us. <laughs> Have a good weekend, guys. Bye. Stay huge. Oh, wow.